What is up, my kaiju? Zilla Zilla is coming at you today with another, another, another pickup and surprise video. So, y'all can see behind me, I got some Pokemon stuff behind me chilling, but that is not all. Let's talk about the future of this channel, the growth of this channel, because I think we're heading in the right direction. We're doing so much, we've already, we're doing, we're hitting our goals, that's all that matters right now. Um, me personally, I'm just trying to become a better entertainer for you guys. So, as, as you guys know, last pick a video, I did go out and buy a video editing program. I did not, I did not though, install it just yet. I'm doing that today. That's gonna be my project for the day, learning how to use that, learning how to put things together through that program and learning how to put picture in picture video. That's essentially what's gonna happen. So first and foremost, I do want to show you what I've picked up, what the lady has picked up for both of us over the past couple of days, couple of weeks. I don't remember, to tell you the honest truth, but I believe it's a couple of weeks since I posted a, a, the last pick of video, or it might have been last week. But, 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 it has been a fun experience doing this so far, and I hope to bring you more content. Excuse me. I gotta learn how to control my burps, control my gas, because it just keeps coming no matter what I do. So, 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 first and foremost, for our pickups, we picked up uh, J. Cole, uh, first album. Let's see, let's see if you can see that. There you go, there you go. We have Cold Side of the World. I believe, yeah, Cold, Cold, Cold World, The Sideline Story. I, I don't know where I got my title from, but I think that works too. So we picked up his first album. The lady has never heard it. I've heard it plenty of times. I enjoy that album a lot. It's not his best album compared to the other two that he's released, especially Born Sinner. I do enjoy Born Sinner. It's a little bit ma more mainstream on that album and that track. He does snap on a few tracks, though. Um, and then the other one, uh, Forest Hills Drives was great. I enjoy that one. I have not listened to his new one, For Your Eyes Only, but I'm hoping to get that in the next couple weeks. We can bump to that and there's a couple couple songs in the background, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Oh, snap. But anyways, we're going to move on to the next thing. And we got this awesome, awesome, awesome Under Armour duffel bag. So, as some of you may know, Lady Zilla and I are getting married this year. And... I'm excited. I think she's excited. She wouldn't have said yes if she wasn't excited. Some, a lot of our friends are excited. They are helping us go into the direction that we need. We only have a couple things left to take care of, I believe. But as you know, a wedding is all work in progress. So, 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 next week, I'll be going home visiting my father for his birthday, getting him a tailored suit so he can actually be part of this wedding because he's actually never had a tailored suit before which is really cool and uh, to experience that with him it, it, it's a wonderful experience so here's to that here's the next week hopefully i can put up a video next i'm gonna try my best to record and bulk record this weekend because i will not be here the next two weekends so it sucks that i have to do this but I'm going to try also during the week to record a couple videos here and there, edit them, have them uploaded to YouTube, and then go from there. Uh, another pickup, it's, it's more of an a imaginary <laughs> pickup in this aspect, but we upgraded our internet. Holy crap, have we finally done that? Yes, we have, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we have. It's kind of cool because we were only doing 25 megabytes per second, which, uh, as you, some of you may know, it's it's not fast. It's not too fast. It's good enough for what you're doing, but when you want to have multiple devices on, especially when I'm streaming and the ladies in the room trying to watch some TV, it sometimes is really slow and it doesn't work. Uh, so we upgraded to the 100 megabytes per second, which is kind of awesome. It's kind of cool. So we're gonna have to do a lot more faster work which is which I'm looking forward to and then next we came back from Barnes and Nobles today and we picked up a couple things as I've been telling you guys lately I've been looking to start writing a little bit more often and trying to get some ideas on paper and trying to put up movie ideas or whatever you want to call them short stories and everything like that and we picked up a moleskin book so it's it's, it's not gonna have my whole stories in here unfortunately is this this is just gonna be designated 
to just ideas and short snippets of passages that I really enjoy and really like. And the ideas are just going to keep flowing. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can get that going. And I'm looking forward to working with some of my friends who also want to be part of it. So here we go. Hopefully we can get that done. Uh, I'm going to say we're going to keep trying as often as we can. We're also trying to get a podcast off the floor. So hopefully you guys come out to see that and we can record that for y'all enjoyment as well. And now moving on, we picked up uh, the most recent Harry Potter book that came out in, in the summer. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which I'm really looking forward to reading. I keep moving this back and forth side to side because I'm dancing, you know. But so we got the, the, the final, well, not the final, but the newest book of Harry Potter, the Harry Potter series, which is really awesome. I'm looking forward to reading that because I do love Harry Potter. I'm a, I'm a wizard at heart. So, yeah, come at me, bro. Come at me. Anyways, anyways, anyways. And then our final pickup of the weekend. Excuse me. I should have had these a lot closer. We picked up one of my favorite series, Calvin and Hobbes. As you guys can see, the price is right there, $7.98. But I really enjoyed the Calvin and Hobbes series. This is, I grew up reading them unfortunately i did lose some of the books or when we moved they ended up getting destroyed so we ended up having to throw them out but 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 i do enjoy me some calvin and Hobbes, and i'm really looking forward to just sitting down reading that uh next 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 as the title suggests we're going to talk about some tcg and we we've, we've been hinting to it every here and there regarding pack openings for stuff and everything like that but we have not put up a pack opening video just yet we've done unboxings we've done everything else and not everything else but we've done a lot of things so I'm gonna start doing pack openings I unfortunately cannot afford to always uh, buy packs and stuff like that but 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 I did save up a bunch of stuff over the past couple months y'all will probably wonder why I'm wearing a hat I haven't shaved my head today or yesterday, which is my mistake. So uh, don't worry about it. I put a hat on so you can't see the hair. I think I look pretty good. I, um, sexy, right? Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but anyways, so <laughs> so let's jump back into the stuff of pack openings. First, we're going to do some Pokemon. And then we're going to do a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! here and there. Uh, I'm going to try to make Saturday videos a little bit more random, maybe have these pack openings come out on Sundays, but make it a like goal thing, where say we get 12 likes for the whole week and we'll put up a Sunday video, or, well, I still got to iron out the details about it, but don't worry about it, but it's going to be Lady Zilla and I doing the pack openings, not just me, not just me, so there's a positive in that, we get her onto the channel, we get her more comfortable in front of the camera, so we can start doing more things together and not those things that you're thinking about you keep your eyes and your head to yourself remember that anyways so today we picked up the Zygarde complete form pin collection edition so here we go we have two of them actually which is kinda cool uh, I'm only opening one and I'm gonna keep the other one in my collection to go along with my uh, the the what do they call the mythical collection boxes so one of them is going to get put into storage along with the other mythical collections i do have all 12 so maybe we can get a video of that sometime in the future and some of the odds and ends that i do have in my in, in the uh in my in our storage and stuff like that but 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 so we got two of these next we have two mythical collections we have keldio and Victini. So some of you are gonna be like, where are the rest of them, Zilla? Uh, I opened them. I got too eager. I could not, I could not resist. Pokemon cards were my first bread and butter. Me and my brother used to collect these a lot, and then we handed our collection down to our little brother. Um, so I'm really excited to, to do these with you guys. This, that's really cool. Lady Zilla will open one, I'll open one, and we'll go from there. I also have a 
a mini tripod camera to put on my, cam my for my phone. So mini tripod camera, mini tripod for my phone. So when I'm doing the pack openings, I can do them on my phone, transfer the file over to the computer, and then put them into my uh, video editing program. So I can do picture in picture with that. So that's really cool. I was, I'm really looking forward to that. And I can pick which picture gets small and stuff like that. So you won't get to see my big ass head the whole time. You get to see the cards being opened. I still got to figure that out, but that's for another video. Hopefully I can show you a tutorial on that and, and give you guys a good idea of how the video editing process does work sometimes. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Next, 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 we have one evolutions pack. I was thinking about just doing it on this video here, but then I realized I didn't have my stupid uh, setup for it. And I was just like, oh, that'd be dumb. Anyways, let's move on. And we have, we have, ladies and gentlemen, two of my favorite Pokemon, even in their mega, mega forms. We have the, oh, let me, let me, let me turn that around for you guys. We have the Blastoise and Charizard Elite Trainers boxes for the evolution stuff. So I am really, oh, sorry. I am really looking forward to opening those with you guys. So there's eight packs in those, so we can have a pack battle between me and Lady Zilla. Maybe do some bean boozled stuff. Shout out to, to Super Duper Danny and JYT Gamer. I've, they're the only people that I've seen, unfortunately, do that. Uh, and then I've seen a lot of a lot of other you PokeTubers pick that up after that. Um, quite frankly, I don't know who started it. Maybe I should do some research into that, but we might do some bean boozled packs, pack openings, and have some pack battles from there. And ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to one of my favorite card games ever, and it is Yu-Gi-Oh. So, I know Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links has come out recently. I don't think I'm going to be doing that on the stream, on not streaming, but on YouTube. I think a lot of the mobile games are more for my fun and, and stuff like that, just to ease out of life and slowly fall asleep and go to bed with. But, 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 that that's not a never say never you never know next well before we move over to Yu-Gi-Oh and I want to talk about uh, Dragon Ball Z Doken Battle as well we're gonna do multi pulls on that sometime this week so I can put that up and, and and get that done that's also gonna be a weekend video so don't don't question me about it I know the current event runs until the 8th of this month so I'm gonna try to get buy all the stones and stuff and then go from there and try to record that today but 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 anyways onward to Yu-Gi-Oh we have some special edition packs here we have two invasion of uh, invasion vengeance oh we only have one invasion vengeance excuse me <laughs> invasion vengeance and we have cross souls and then we also have Shining Victories, which is really awesome. I do really like the Shining Victories pack, just because, not just because they have uh, Set Ukaiba's cards in there or the Rise of Blue Eyes again, but it's because they're really nice cards. They really complement the Blue Eyes, the old Blue Eyes decks and stuff like that. So I really do enjoy that. Let me move my mic out of the way a little bit because things are going to get a little hectic. But we also have a bunch of singles. So let, let, let me hold this up for you guys. Look. Here we go. We have a crap ton of singles raging from Invasion of <laughs> Invasion Vengeance. I should keep thinking of Invasion of Chaos. I opened a bunch of those already. But and then we also have all the way down to Duelist Pack Rivals of the Pharaoh. So we have those. I think we have about 15 to 20 packs, single packs here. And that that's really cool to me. Next, 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 but certainly not least, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Dex 2. So here we are with this one. I'm really looking forward to opening this, especially some of Yu-Gi's decks uh, as life had gone on in this in this <laughs> in this matter beyond the original. I'm also going to try to get the original so we can open them together and, and put that on the channel at the same time and do all that fun stuff. But onward to booster boxes. We have one of my favorite booster boxes collections, and that is Crossed Souls. You're going to be like, Zilla, but you already have a special edition box of Crossed Souls, and then you bought this booster box of Crossed Souls. What gives? What gives? Well, the company I bought the booster box off of 
was having a sale. And that sale was spend a hundred, I think it was a hundred bucks and you get free shipping. So that coincides with the special, uh, big ass special editions that we have. And that is Invasion Vengeance. We have the whole special edition box here for your viewing pleasure. Lady Zilla and I are going to be doing pack battles with that one as well. Excuse me as I rock my camera back and forth because I'm rocking this video right now. But we're going to do pack battles with that. Uh, Cross Souls booster box is going to just be us just chilling. If you want the links to the booster boxes, the special edition big ass box, and then the booster box, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to find that link for you and we can go from there. But ladies and gentlemen, that is our weekend roundup. That's what I'm going to call these videos from now on, especially when there's no gameplay. These are going to be just called the weekend roundup, the week in roundup, okay? Not the weekend roundup, the week in roundup. So we can talk about anything and everything, what we've done, what we are doing, what we're picking up, all that jazz. But ladies and gentlemen, if you like today's video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my beautiful face and come join the Kaiju Clan, please hit that subscribe button. We're just a group of monsters trying to take over the world. But ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, and all my beautiful, beautiful monsters, thank you very much for coming out, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Peace.